Hi, everyone. I'm Vladimir Dutit. We are watching all the news happening in the United States and around the world. Check out these screens behind me, folks, which you probably don't know is these are feeds from our stations and affiliates all across the country. If there's something that's happening out there, we're going to bring it to you right here on CBS News 24-7. Let's begin. The vice presidential candidates appear diametrically opposed on policies, but civil in nature. We'll recap the major takeaways from last night's one and only VP debate. Tensions coming to a head in the Middle East. Israel vows to retaliate after Iran launches its biggest missile attack ever. Plus, ripple effects from the port worker strike are likely to hit all aspects of the U.S. economy. When you could feel the impact and where negotiations stand. This is CBS News 24-7. You know we're going to begin here, right? Uh, this is the day after both the Harris and Trump campaigns. They're claiming victory. Would you expect anything less from last night's one and only vice presidential debate? And, of course, you saw it right here on CBS for 90 minutes. Tim Walz and J.D. Vance squared off in a policy-focused debate. Here's just a small sample of what happened last night. Iran is closer to a nuclear weapon than they were before because of Donald Trump's fickle leadership. Effective, smart diplomacy and peace through strength is how you bring stability back to a very broken world. Donald Trump has already done it once before. I ask you out there, teachers, nurses, truck drivers, whatever, how is it fair that you're paying your taxes every year and Donald Trump hasn't paid any federal tax in the last 15 years? We have to stop the bleeding. We have a historic immigration crisis because Kamala Harris started and said that she wanted to undo all of Donald Trump's border policies. The fact of the matter is, how can we as a nation say that your life and your rights, as basic as the right to control your own body, is determined on geography. My party, we've got to do so much better of a job at earning the American people's trust back on this issue where they frankly just don't trust us. Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? That is, a damning, to... that is a damning non-answer. I want to bring in CBS News political director Finn Gomez for more on last night's uh, debate. Uh, Finn, let's just have this conversation. Uh, first off, I want to begin uh, with that last exchange. Uh, a lot of people are talking about, uh, look, it was civil. Uh, I think uh, uh, Tony DeCopo on CBS Mornings uh, today said sort of two Midwestern dads sitting around having a conversation about policy differences while enjoying a beer. That's the vibe that it gave off. But there was that telling moment, that last soundbite that we played, where where uh, Senator Vance refused to answer a very simple question, uh, which was, did Donald Trump win that last election? Uh, and we saw it again from Tom Cotton in the spin room, unable or unwilling to answer that question. Uh, what does that mean for people who are undecided? Well, I think for people that are undecided,